Oh, guys, I started this vlog knowing there's a few different ways it could go. I didn't have it completely nailed down, but I know for sure, and today I'm going to tell you why I am not doing a family vlog. Thanks guys for joining me today on this episode. So one of the biggest difficulties in a vlog for me, and I'm sure for most people, is keeping up with content and generating new ideas. I debated, even when starting the vlog, whether it was going to go more toward camera gear, video, photography, design, that kind of stuff, if I might even move toward doing a family vlog or something of that sort, because that could be really fun too. This week kind of made that decision for me. So the other day, we had some friends having a birthday party for one of the kids that we were going to, and I thought, hey, let's do something different. I'll take my camera, I'll document the process, it'll be fun. The kids will like it, because kids always like being on video, right? So I thought I would try what it would be like to do a family vlog. So, it's time to meet the family. Let's do it. <laughs> I told you you could do it. Alright, so we are heading out to a birthday party at a place called Foundation for Youth, also known as the Bouncy Gym to our family. You peeing. Are you ready to go? Yeah? And go to the bouncy gym. Hop in. I've been asking you to go there for a while. Baby. Are you guys ready to go to the bouncy gym? Yeah! 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 Hop here with me. Here we are at the bouncy gym. Are you ready to bounce? <laughs> yeah. It'll be fun. Now that was good, right? It looked fun, we had a good time, but something you didn't see in there. I was shooting some of this, and of course, for the most part, the kids liked it. They like to show off for the camera, as most kids do. And it's kind of a normal thing anymore since we've all got a camera on our phone. We're all doing this kind of stuff, right? But after we got to the party, something changed. My oldest son, Deacon, who you saw in there just a little bit ago, got really upset at the fact that I was shooting video of him. So I, of course, turned the camera off to talk to him about it and see what was going on. As I talked to him, he really didn't like being on camera. Now keep in mind, he's been in videos before. We've done some fun videos at home with him and Bowen, like this one.
great special effects, right? <laughs> but this time things were different. And when I asked him, he said, I don't like you taking video of me just doing normal stuff. He said to me, when it's for work, it's just different. So I immediately put down my camera. I told him that there is absolutely never a time that I'm going to make you be in a video. So I had gone back and forth in my mind a lot of times on whether or not I should include my kids in videos or photos or posts on social media or anything like that and kind of talk to my wife Carrie about it too. And it just, we didn't feel like there was a hard fast rule one way or another. So I tried it and that was the response I got and immediately to myself I said, this is not happening. I don't want to force my kids into something that they're not wanting to do. There are certainly times when they might be hesitant or fearful that I know I need to push them into that and know that they're gonna learn and grow from that, but this is not one of those things. So I'm not exactly sure what the application of this is to you. If you're doing your own YouTube channel, maybe you think through these things too, or if you're putting posts on Facebook or Instagram or anything like that. But for me, this is where I landed and as much as I know you would enjoy seeing some of the wild things that my kids do, it's just not gonna happen. So thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed meeting them. In the next episode, we'll get back to more camera action and video footage and all that fun stuff. So I'd love for you to like this video, subscribe to this channel, comment, share, all that good stuff. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you next time.